Productions. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This your boy D Gray here with another tutorial. Um, shout out to my partner, Mr. Q Notes. Um, we had someone ask us on YouTube on how we do our hi hats, and they wanted us to do a tutorial on it. So this is what we're gonna do. Open up FL Studio. And I already got a beat that I had started on probably about a day ago. So I want to finish it and I already knew I wanted to add uh, another set of hi-hats in there. So I'm going to use this one as, a, as an example. Because you also get kind of like a sneak peek. So. in the morning still up doing my thing this beat has been I pretty much missed it already here we go this part will go skip I do you know how I do it like, like Options, like the computer overload if I were gonna do that like for the first five seconds of it then it's gonna stop once my computer finished loading and everything Tags and I want to make sure I have tags in there because some people have been trying to be sneaky on YouTube. So let it go. All right. So you see how I got my stuff kind of pretty much organized. I want to add a different set of hi hats. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to insert one. That's one of my hi hats right here. So to bring up this box, I do right click, I'm gonna delete it. Go through again, boom. So I want my hi hats to be between here, so I'm gonna right click on the snare, hit insert one, I wanna rename this, so I'm gonna hold shift and left click. So hi hat two. Hit the same color, a lot. So now I got my little channel or whatever you want to call it for my second hi hat. So I want to go back to my sequencer, scroll down to I find my first set of hi hats right here. I want it to be in between the snare. I'm looking at this, so I want it to be between the snare. And this hi hat, so I add a hi hat too. So I'm gonna create a pattern between these two. So I'm gonna click on this drop down, hit insert one, or you can press shift control insert. I don't know how to do it on the Mac because I have a Mac uh, keyboard, so there's no insert. Unless somebody found a way to do it, but anyway, 
Man, this hi hat. Two. When I go to pattern six, I got my hi hat one. Change this to sixteen. Control S to save, but I always save. I got a habit of saving. Every little thing I do. Alright. So. So right now I could do either two things. Well, let's get this done. So once I get my hi hat tool and my pattern labeled, my sequencer, I'm gonna come back here. I want to click paint, draw, whatever you want to call it to get your uh, yeah the space. This is how I do mine. Some people got different workflows or whatnot, but this is how I do. So right now it's no hi hat. click right here you do two things you can go in here and left click and key the hi-hats you know that right click to clear this out or you can go into your piano roll which is by right clicking go to piano roll type it in here so we got C same thing Those are two ways you can do it. But for the purposes of this video, we we'll control A to highlight everything, delete with the delete button, control D to deselect. I'm gonna copy this. I'm just gonna do it from scratch. My bad, y'all. Too early in the morning. what I got so far. Make sure I do the so 
highlight everything. You can hold control, left click, drag, which sections you want to highlight. Then I solo these by holding control, left click on the one. All right, if I do it twice, everything is get highlighted again. So I want to solo just this one. Hold control, left click, and I want to. You don't have to hold control for the rest of the sounds you want to add that you want to hear. Just left click on it. So I want to hear these. So now I got my notes in the piano roll. change this one up so I want to chop it in order to chop I'm gonna hold control left click drag highlight which one I want to chop I'm gonna hold alt and press U let's go chop it as you can see Go through this again. Alt U. It'll give you the options. How fast you want to chop it. This fast. I want it right here though. Hit the set. Hold control, press D as in Delta, it's gonna unhighlight it. Do the same thing in this one. laying down my, my hi-hats. Now what you want to do I'm scrolling with my scroll wheel in here I want to change the velocities of each each one so to slowly go up on the hi-hats. Just want to give it like a more realistic feeling, a more realistic vibe. pretty much how I do everything. I don't want to do nothing else with these hi-hats, not in this beat. But sometimes I, I right click on here. You get the right click, go to the uh, pan, pretty much have your sounds play on one side, either the left or the right, or to go from left to right. You can do that, either by left clicking on there. I have to check this if they still got this at FL11 look like to do but if you uh use your scroll wheel to go up and down open this up some more you got your velocity right here I can hold uh what is it alt yeah hold alt or option on your Mac keyboard and use your mouse wheel while you hold the alt to change the velocity
could also do a do your panning and everything in here as well. All right, make sure I save. But for the guy that asked about the hi hats, I don't know if you will have any more questions, but pretty much everything is pretty much going to be based off your ideas. So there's really no, I don't think it's a method to doing your hi hats or whatever beats unless it's you talking about playing piano or something but as far as your hi-hat and your percussion that's gonna be a personal preference and how you want to do it but i showed you how to pretty much do your quick chop and how i lay out the highlight uh hi-hats for our beats and mr q notes which is my partner he do his differently as well and he has his uh, sounds on the legacy block pattern I'm used to dealing with this. So, with that being said, give y'all a little sneak peek. Control B will duplicate. Let's see what we got. So, as far as EQing, that's going to be up to how you want your, your hi-hats to sound. Um, I do have like a little bit of reverb on the hi-hat. I say everything has, has already been pretty much mixed. So, but yeah. So that's it. If you have any more questions, just let me know. And if you need me to re-explain more in depth, which I really don't think I could get more in depth than that with, as far as what I had, but still just let me know. And that's pretty much it. Y'all be easy. Be safe out there in these streets because it's hard out here. <laughs> I'll let y'all. Wow. Beast Mode Productions.